Hey guys, it's Swordmaker7, and welcome to part 3 of the Modern House tutorial. As you see in front of us, we are going to be completing the next three layers of this house. If you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to look out for part 4 very soon after this video is completed. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so to start out, we're going to come to the front side of the house right here, take some glass panes, and we're going to place one right here. And then after that, you're going to take out your blocks of quartz. Go ahead and fill this wall up here. Okay. And then we're going to come right here, and we're going to place down four more just like that. Take your spruce wood planks, place them right there, and then we're going to place two blocks of quartz here, and then bring this straight across until it's in line with this. Okay. And then we're going to fill four more in front just like that. And then we will bring this back over here by two. Come over to this side and place down three over here like this. Okay. And then once you've done that, take out some black concrete. We're going to place some here on top of the other black concrete. And we're going to bring it in by two over here like this. Do the same thing on this side. Oops. Nah. I'm going to fix this on the other side over here real quick. So you want to bring it so it's like this. And then there should be one layer to go in front here. And then two more in front of those. Okay, so just go on top of all this other black concrete that's already here. Basically making it all too thick. Okay, and that's how it should look like right here. This one big chunk of black concrete. Okay, so next what we're going to do is come over to the left side of the house here. You can destroy that block. Come over to the back side of the house, over by this window here. And we're going to pl place our blocks of quartz over the top like this. Okay. And then once you've done that, you're going to come to the right side here. Take your black concrete, bring it in by three like this. And then we're going to do the same thing we did on the front pretty much. So go ahead and raise this quartz here. And then raise the black concrete like this. And you're going to bring it in by four right here. And you're just going to bring it all the way around to connect to the other side. Okay. And then I'm just going to place this on top of all the other black concrete that's here until the entire thing is two blocks thick. And just like that. And that should be the rest of the black concrete we need for this house. Okay, so once you've done that, take out some spruce wood planks. We're going to raise this up by three here and three here. Go ahead and take out some blocks of quartz and place three just like that. Okay. So I'll come up real quick so you can see what this is supposed to look like. All right, so next we're going to come over by the garage over here. Place your spruce wood plank right here in between the two quartz walls. Take out your block of quartz. We're going to place down four right here. Okay. Once you've done that, you can place two on top of this pillar right here. And then we'll place four more on the other side right here. All right, once you've done that, you can place a row all the way along here and one more in front of that. And then do the same thing on this side as well. Go ahead and take out some quartz slabs and place them upside down all the way along the front side like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on the inside over here. Okay. That's how that should look. Take your blocks of quartz, and we're just going to square off the entire garage. Just wrap it all the way back around to the front. Okay. Then we're going to come over here, take your spruce wood planks. We're going to place down three just like this. And then one block of quartz right on top of this pillar here. 
Okay. Then you can take your spruce wood planks and we're going to come behind here, bring this all the way back to the edge of the garage. And then we'll make this three wide, just like this. All right. And this is how we should be looking so far on the house. Okay, so next what we're going to do, take out some spruce wood planks, come to the back side of the house right here. We're gonna bring these planks straight back over here like this, okay? You're gonna come in right here by one, break out two just like that. And we're gonna take some spruce wood stairs and place them right here. Once you've done that, take some more spruce wood planks and bring it straight across like this, okay? And then we're gonna come over here by the opening for the stairwell. We're going to take our quartz, place it straight across like that, and then leave a gap of two right here in front of the stairs, okay? And then once you have done that, you can take some spruce wood planks. We're going to place four of them right here and then straight across like that, all right? So the rest of this empty space can all be filled in with spruce wood planks. I'll go ahead and cap this off like that. I'm going to speed this up real quick and I'm going to fill the whole thing in with spruce wood planks and I will be right back. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is come to the back side of the house here and begin working on the balcony. We're going to place down our quartz blocks like this and then quartz stairs at the top upside down like that. We're going to replace this one with an upside down stair. Um, right side up? No, yeah, it's supposed to be upside down like this. And then same thing over on this window as well, upside down, okay. And then once you've done that, we're going to come back over by where the balcony will be. Take our blocks of quartz straight across like this. Okay. Come over to this side. We're going to place down three pieces of quartz. Okay. From there, you can take your glass panes, place down one here and one in front of it. Okay. Come over to this side. Bring your block of quartz straight back till you're in line with the other one. And then you can place a glass pane right there. After you've done that, place a spruce wood plank here with three spruce wood stairs, just like this. That will be another window above there. And then we're going to take a plank, place it in this corner here, and then spruce wood stairs upside down going all the way across here for our railings. Same thing on this side. Okay, so that's how the balcony will look. We're going to take some light gray carpet and the remainder of the inside here, we can just cover the entire floor with this. All right, just over the top of everything here other than the stairs and the balcony. All of the birch wood and quartz that's showing, just cover it all up. And that little indent by the stairs there as well. All right, so once you have everything all finished up there, this is what it should look like. Okay, so next we're going to begin by laying out the floor plan for the second floor. Place down a quartz block right here, and then you're going to go next to that, place down two slabs and another block of quartz like that. Place two behind these with some black stained glass. You're going to take your block of quartz and come behind, place one down here. And then we're going to come to the right, place another one. And then you're going to place down one, two, three, four. Leave a gap of two and place one like that. Okay. And that should be straight in line here with those white quartz that are over here. You're going to bring two down like this. And then once you've done that, we'll place one more in and then mirror this on the other side. So it should look just like that. And we're going to come to the front side here, place down some spruce wood planks all the way along there. Turn and place down one like this with a block of quartz coming out by two. 
and then spruce wood planks on the inside of there. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna place two rows of quartz inside. All right, we're gonna come over to the other side here, take out some spruce wood planks, pull them straight across like this. And then we'll replace that with a plank there all the way down to the corner. Come in by three, place your two blocks of quartz right there. And then we'll turn again. We'll finish off this room real quick. That's right here. So come back to these quartz here. We're gonna bring our wall straight up and then turn it so it comes across to meet with this block there. So that's going to be our first room. And then we're going to have another room in the corner up here. We'll just start by placing the spruce wood block there, skip uh, over two, and then place another wall coming straight across here. And then we'll turn this and go all the way outside the building, just like that. Okay. We're gonna place down three blocks of quartz right here, or two, I mean, with a black stained glass pane in between. Then you can take out some uh, spruce wood planks bring this back right here just by the one and then we'll bring two more blocks of quartz here and one back and two here and then take out some glass panes and we'll place down two that's what it should look like from the inside all right so then we're going to come over to the right side here take out some spruce wood planks and we'll just bring them straight across and then right here placing down your quartz with a gap of two Take some planks, come on the other side here. You're going to place down one here. And then you're going to leave a gap of one and then place down one here, one there, and one there. Then we're going to divide these two up with a straight row here. This is going to be for a bathroom and a walk-in closet. That's how we should look so far. Okay, we're gonna to come to the front again right here bring your quartz block all the way back, and then we're going to turn this so that it goes right out the other side of the building here, and it should line up with that quartz pillar. Okay, and then once you've done that, take your spruce wood planks all the way along here, and all the way along there, just like that. Then on the garage here, you can take a block of quartz on either corner, just like this and we will bring it back by another one. And we're going to begin placing some glass panes. Place one in the center here, or two actually I should say. And then your panes will go in between each one just like this. All right. So that's how it should look so far. Take your blocks of quartz and we're just going to line this all the way around the garage here. And then we're going to break out some for the window right over here. So you're going to count in four and then destroy the rest of them. Place some panes just like that. Okay, so once you have done that, we're going to come to the side here. Take your spruce wood planks and go all the way along this wall here. Destroy that one and place two more right here. And then we'll come over here. Place a spruce plank there with three panes of glass. And then three blocks of quartz here. We'll add another layer of our glass panes on top of here and there. Take your quartz, we'll place one here. And then a window right here that will be too wide. Three more quartz blocks. And then over here, we're going to Place three like that on either side with a glass pane in the middle, or a full block, I mean, sorry. And then I'll go ahead and circle around real quick so you can see this. But right, that's how the floor plan should be looking so far for the entire house. And then real quick right here, we'll just fill that in with spruce and add our glass pane. And that's how it should look. Okay, so next we're going to start on the next layer, basically just rising everything up. We're gonna start right here, take your spruce wood planks, just like this, with your black stained glass pane right there. Your quartz, we're just gonna raise up two here and two here. 
place your glass right there. And raise all of this quartz up like this. Right here, we're going to have a special little feature. We're going to take our spruce wood planks on the sides, place some spruce wood slabs here, and then we're going to take some clay and place it behind just like this. That's just going to be a little uh, detail in the front of the house. Place your spruce planks here, and then our quartz will go all the way along there. Okay. Next, we're going to add some windows on the side here. Place your spruce wood planks here and here, and then we'll take some panes and place two there blocks of quartz right here. And then same thing here, we'll place a spruce wood plank on either side with some panes in between. Okay, we're going to repeat this one more time. We're going to place down some spruce here, two blocks of quartz, spruce there and on the other side as well. And then we'll place down our two glass panes here. Take our block of quartz, place down two spruce wood planks all the way around the corner here. And then we're going to have some uh, stairs actually right here just like that okay we're going to take our quartz place two down just like this and then we will cover up these spruce wood planks right there take your quartz back on this side here your panes in there and then we'll continue over to this side raising everything up spruce wood planks there and then we will come all the way inside with these spruce wood planks here and turn it this way. Okay. And then we'll just go on top of everything else that's on the inside over on this side. Straight across like that. Go ahead and do your quartz as well. Alright, so that's how the floor plan should be looking so far. Come over to this side of the house over here. We'll place down our quartz and our glass for this window. And then we'll wrap around this side here doing the same exact thing. Placing down our panes for this window and for the door here as well. Oops. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then three blocks of quartz here. And then we will place our planks on either side there with our windows coming across. And then take out your spruce wood planks all the way along here and two more right there. So now we're going to place the roof over the garage and this part's going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing. We're going to place one block of quartz there with our slabs coming across this time. And then these two at the end will be full blocks. Okay, so go ahead and place those down here and then we will turn them and bring them all the way down the side just like this. Okay, the spruce wood planks are going to stay at the height they're at. We're going to place two just like this. And then we will put quartz slabs over the top of all of this here. Coming all the way around. And then we're just going to fill the entire roof of the garage in with these quartz slabs. So once we get towards the front, we should have the pillar from in between the two garage doors sticking up through by half a block. And if that's how yours ends up looking, then that is exactly how it should be. So just got two more rows here over the windows and one more right across the front. All right, and that is the completion of that layer of the modern house. I'll do a quick fly around here so you can see everything. Okay, so that's how it should look so far. Okay, so that's going to conclude part three of the modern house tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to turn on the bell so you get notifications when I post episode four. Speaking of which, episode 4 will be out very, very soon, and that will be the final episode of the Modern House tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and we'll see you in the next one.